Hi guys, welcome to Watch Out Crypto. I am Alan Chang. Let's get started. In today's episode, we're going to cover what actually happened to Luna, the latest news and market movement. Scott Minner, the chef investment officer at Guggenheim, a large investment bank on Wall Street, says that the World Economic Forum that Bitcoin might hit 8,000 US dollars. And it will be the bottom line, which means there will be another 70% drop. If Miner's forecast really comes true, it will be another suffering for the crypto circle. The total value of the crypto market evaporated 500 billion US dollars by dropping 24% in the past 30 days. For your information, Guggenheim is a matured investment bank founded at the year 1999 with 325 billion US dollars in AUM. So, the word of mouth for these big whales will easily affect the crypto market, such as Elon Musk and DotCoin. CZ, the founder of Binance, talked about six of his point of view on Luna and UST during the interview. The first lesson we should learn is the defects in designs. There's a lack of focus on liquidity and being too aggressive on the mechanism of Anchor promoting 20% yield to push the project, which is not organic. Second, high APY does not equal to a good target, so don't just focus on high APY. Number three. The operation of rescuing the DPEG is too slow, and Terra should keep decent communication with users, especially during the panic. And the crypto sector is clearly showing resilience because the loss of Luna and UST was even larger than Lehman Brothers, and Bitcoin only dropped 20% from 40,000 to 30,000. And CZ says there will definitely be a spillover effect for sure. And spillover effect is an economic term that when we think nothing else related is going to happen but actually affecting the other part. And finally, CZ is not sure if there should be a higher restriction for stable coins and also no clear answer to how to avoid this kind of risk. But he mentioned stay away from the high APY because high APY won't be able to last long. So high APY actually equals to higher risk. Personally, I really hope all the investors learn this lesson from Terra. Ethereum will come out with major changes. For mining, they usually use PAL and it's gonna switch to Pulse as soon as August. This means they will not rely on graphic card for mining anymore. So the demand might highly decrease and affect the stock price of major graphic card production companies such as NVIDIA, AMD, and etc. Why does this matter to crypto? Remember I always say crypto is highly correlated to the US stocks, especially in the tech sector. So if the tech sector drops, it will be really dangerous for crypto holders. Now let's talk about what actually happened to Terra Luna UST. First of all, let's go through the major historic event that caused the market crash. In the year 1997, George Soros and his whale ally hunted the Southeast Asia market bubble, highly shorted TIBAP and used up to 30 billion US dollars of foreign exchange reserves from the Central Bank of Thailand and forced TIBAP to start using a fluctuating rate, which led the Southeast Asia country to a financial crisis. And this is a dot-com bubble we all know. Then, in the year 2008, Lehman Brothers created a bunch of default rates from the subprime lending. The debt went a lot over the company value and was forced into bankruptcy. After this, we all know what happened next, which led us to a world financial crisis. You might be thinking right now, what does this have to do with Luna? Can we see why most financial crises happen? One most simple and the most important word is liquidity. First of all, we need to understand what is Terra, Luna, and UST. Terra is a public chain and also a platform target to decentralized finance and application development. Even though crypto already accomplished decentralizing finance before Terra is created, but the volatility for crypto is way too high. To solve this problem, Terra used dual coin. UST uses algorithm to keep its value with US dollars one to one. Luna is a token from Terra, the pricing can go its own way. Luna is a bridge to UST, 
and how does it work? Before that, we should all know that Luna and UST can both be burnt two ways. When UST rises above a dollar, any Luna holder can switch a dollar worth of Luna for one UST and sell each UST above a dollar, making a profit and bring the peg back. Also the same when UST is below a dollar. As we can see, Luna and UST are bundled together. If the demand for UST increases, Luna will decrease. So the price of Luna will also go high. So we can think of UST as an accelerator for Luna and Luna as a stabilizer for UST. So either they both do well or they both crashes. Now we might be thinking, what caused the crash? Mostly it's because of Anchor, what CZ talked about earlier. Anchor encouraged investors to loan UST as high as 20% yield of return. After that, people will have the same question as I do, obviously. If we can get 20% a year stably, why do we need to do other investment? Why do we do stocks? So the demand for UST highly increased and the price of Luna went skyrocketing. After everyone deposited their UST in Anchor, the liquidity of UST is gone. After the Fed increases the interest rate, the whole market starts plummeting. The market value of UST is $18.7 billion, but the liquidity is only $3 million US dollars left. Can you even imagine? After investors know about it, the market started to panic causing a mass sold out for UST. Also, the traders start shorting Luna at the same time, causing a death cycle. The Luna evaporated 40 billion US dollars within 48 hours. Now, let's take a look at the market movement. This is the hourly candlestick chart for Ethereum. As I always say, I prefer to use Ethereum for a shorter term trade because Ethereum first is more volatile and second like more tra short term trader actually trades Ethereum probably because it's actually cheaper and that's what also why it's more volatile and as we can see a couple hours ago Ethereum actually broke the trend line and now it's trying to meet the support zone 1928 but if it breaks the pressure zone 2075 the up space is quite high as we can see, the MACD is trying to cross at the bottom and RSI is showing at the bottom. So the probability of the market going up is actually quite high. So overall, there's risk in any kind of investment, but to me, risk management is everything. I want to remind everyone the key to success in trading is to accurately execute stop loss, locking gains, and the management of cash flow, which is the most basic but the hardest at the same time. Thank you for watching Watch Out Crypto. I am Alan Chang. I'll see you next time.